All right, so let's try the problem we did in class. So we had two people with a rope. The rope, they were nine meters apart, and they made a wave with the rope, and the wave made basically three waves in nine meters. Now, if across nine meters we have three waves, that means one of those waves is only going to be three meters long, because three of them would make up nine meters. So our wavelength right there is three meters. So if it takes a half a second for three waves, let's look at our period and frequency. Now, frequency is the number of waves per time. So if I have three waves in 0 0.5 seconds, if I divide by a half, I'm going to get six hertz. So I have a frequency of six hertz. And the period is, well, one over the frequency, or the time per wave, half over three. Um, so that's going to be one-sixth of a second. I mean, it's going to take a sixth of a second uh, for one wave to go by. It's a time for one wave. And if we want that velocity, um, I can do wavelength times frequency, and that's three meters times a frequency of six hertz. So that would be a velocity of 18 meters per second. I could have also done um, wavelength over period, and that would have been three over one-sixth, and I still would have gotten 18 meters per second either way I do it. So frequency, how, many, how much waves per time, Period would be the inverse of that, the reciprocal of that, um, one-sixth, the time per wave. The wavelength is the distance between peaks, so that's only three meters from peak to peak, since there's three of them that go across nine meters. Um, three waves in nine meters, that means it's uh, one wave is only three meters. And velocity is wavelength times frequency, or wavelength divided by time. Ta-da!